At an archaeology conference, I recently had a very brief but very interesting conversation about wampum beads. Apparently, the beads can be approximately dated by the dimensions of the bead as well as the shape of the hole. Apparently, the early beads, those shaped with stone tools, have an hourglass-shaped hole. Because flint isn't very durable, flint drill bits need to be oversized. Imagine drilling a hole with the tip of what is essentially an arrowhead. These oversized drill bits create tapering holes. The holes are also drilled from both sides of the bead, because the width of the hole increases with the depth, and you don't want to exceed the width of the bead. Finally, these early beads are often shorter and fatter than their later counterparts. Moving on, we come to the beads of the early contact era. Metal drill bits have now taken over from the stone. The beads are narrower, longer, and the holes are now straight rather than hourglass shaped. But the holes are still drilled from both sides, as it's difficult to keep a hole straight with a bow drill. Apparently the two halves don't always line up nicely. Moving from there, we come to the beads of the 1700s and onwards. In this era, most wampum beads are mass-produced in colonial factories. They have access to premium tools and precision jigs, meaning that the holes can now be drilled from one side. They are also longer and narrower still, some of them being an inch long or more. However, due to mass production, they started cutting corners, or rather, they stopped cutting corners. With the earlier beads, the corners were nicely rounded off, whereas with the later, they were often left square. I don't know how true all of this is, as I was just told it by some random archaeologist, but I found it very interesting, and I hope you did too. Thank you for watching.